Why do you click on an app as soon as you see a fresh small red circle displaying a number? This is a form of psychological manipulation, and Apple has truly mastered this strategy. The color red has a powerful impact on our sense of urgency and importance, stimulating a need in us to take immediate action. What about the number on the red badge? This number signifies a number of tasks that are yet to be completed or have been interrupted. Whenever you come across this red badge, your mind immediately alerts you about an X number of unfinished tasks. As a result, you find yourself drawn back to your phone, clearing notifications, replying to messages, or checking for updates. This phenomenon is known as the Zygarnik effect, which suggests that people have a stronger recollection of unfinished or interrupted tasks compared to completed ones. And this brings me to the next point, gamification. Gamification is a powerful psychological strategy that applies game elements to areas that are not typically associated with gaming. It has gained immense popularity in the technology sector as a way to increase user engagement, but also to get you addicted. By applying game-like features, gamification turns ordinary tasks into exciting experiences, offering users rewards and incentives for completing them. This approach leverages our inherent desire for accomplishment, competition, and enjoyment. Take a look at the Apple Watch, for instance. Apple utilizes activity rings as a prime example of how they employ gamification to encourage health and wellness. The objective is to complete each ring on a daily basis, turning getting healthy into a daily challenge. When combined with the gratification of closing the rings, this becomes a powerful motivator to continue the challenge every day. You can also get exclusive awards when you hit a milestone and you have the opportunity to engage in workout challenges with your friends. All of these game elements contribute to a feeling of achievement, which motivates users to strive for more. This is the hidden power of dopamine-driven feedback loops. Dopamine acts on areas of the brain to give you feelings of pleasure, satisfaction, and motivation. This phenomenon is frequently used in the tech industry, as it essentially functions as a biological like button that our brains cannot stop clicking. Apple is well aware of this and cleverly uses this strategy all the time. Why do you think slot machines are so addicting? You pull down the handle and you anticipate a potential reward. This looks oddly similar to the pull down to refresh function when you open some apps like Instagram or YouTube. Whenever you pull down to refresh, you're eagerly anticipating a possible reward, such as a new Instagram picture or an amusing YouTube video you haven't seen yet. However, the reality is that it rarely pays off. Despite always expecting a potential reward, most of the time you end up empty handed, just like with slot machines. Despite losing most of the time, you still find yourself mindlessly pulling down to refresh your feed because every unexpected reward triggers a dopamine release, creating a constant desire for another dopamine boost. This results in you gradually spending more time on your iPhone. Numerous reports have revealed a fascinating finding. Apple users tend to spend considerably more time on their phones compared to Android users. You may be curious about the reasons behind this trend. Well, one of the key reasons behind this phenomenon is the captivating ecosystem that Apple has created, as iPhone users are more likely to have multiple devices calling for their attention. And it works. On January 3rd, 2022, Apple became the first company to be worth $3 trillion. Its most prized possession isn't its patents or copyrights, but it's a legion of users who are locked into an ecosystem of Apple products. Steve Jobs was the visionary behind the concept of a network of interconnected devices, services, and software that seamlessly work together. This brilliant idea enables Apple to cross-sell its various services. The more Apple products you buy, the deeper you're locked into the ecosystem. And once users have fully embraced the Apple ecosystem, it becomes quite challenging to break free from its grasp, as it is intentionally designed to draw you in and never let you back out. Because if you decide to leave the Apple ecosystem, you will unfortunately lose access to all those premium apps and subscriptions you've bought from the App Store. But that's not all. Have you ever wondered how Apple manages to seamlessly connect all your digital essentials? It's iCloud, and it acts like a virtual vault. All your books, calendar events, contacts, messages, movies, music, notes, photos, podcasts, and reminders are all stored in iCloud. While it's undoubtedly convenient when you're immersed in the Apple ecosystem, it adds a lot of weight to the sacrifice when you decide to leave. And then you have Apple's hardware, 
which is another obstacle that stands in the way of those considering leaving the ecosystem. Apple devices such as the iPhone and Apple Watch use proprietary charging methods, the lightning cable for iPhone and MagSafe charger for Apple Watch. Apple has gone above and beyond to create an ecosystem that keeps users locked in. So that fancy Apple Watch you own, it becomes completely useless if you decide to switch to an Android phone. And let's not forget about the AirPods Pro too. If you dare to leave the Apple ecosystem, you'll miss out on exclusive features that are only compatible with an iPhone. Apple sure knows how to keep you hooked. Now, I cannot understate how incredibly efficient and valuable the Apple ecosystem can be. Any Apple user can vouch for that. That's precisely why it's rare for a buyer to settle for just an iPhone. Before you know it, they find themselves embracing a set of AirPods, perhaps an Apple Watch, and maybe even an iPad, Apple TV, or a MacBook. Isn't it interesting how this is now considered the norm rather than an exception? Apple is truly a master of making choices for you. Which brings me to my next point, the paradox of choice. The paradox of choice is a widely recognized psychological principle that suggests that having too many options can result in feelings of anxiety and difficulty making decisions. Apple knows just the right amount of choice to offer its consumers. It stands out from other tech companies by taking a different approach. Unlike its competitors who flood the market with numerous models and variations, Apple prefers to keep things simple. Take the iPhone for example. Instead of overwhelming consumers with an overwhelming number of choices, Apple offers only a handful of models, each with a few customizable features such as color and storage size. This approach minimizes the mental effort required from the buyer, turning the overwhelming process of selecting the perfect model into an easy choice. This improves the buying experience and enables customers to quickly transition from the decision-making phase to actively using the device.